Gabriel and the Fold AR booth. He's got a really interesting product right here. Go ahead, Gabriel. Tell us about it. All right. Well, uh, we have a simple folding system for between the handguard and the upper. It's a locking lever. All you have to do is unfold it, pull back in your bolt carrier group, let it go, put the hook in, lock your lever down, you're ready to go. Pretty slick. Uh, what's your website? Uh, foldar.com. All right, and are these available now? They are available now. We have our first shipments going out uh, at the end of this month. Mm -hmm. Is that just the uppers or the whole gun? Or you sell whole gun. Way? We're selling a whole gun, or you can buy just the uppers if you want to. Uppers are run at 850. Complete gun in the single folder I have over there. Those are running at 1495, and then the double folder is running at 1945. Okay. Well, cool. Foldar.com, right? Yes, sir. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Solution booth, talking to Amy Shaw. She got a new product for the Mark IV here. Go ahead, Amy. This is our lightweight barrel um, replacement barrel for the Ruger Mark IV. Uh, this is the Pack Light IV. It's about to release here any day now to the general public. It is lightweight. I believe the uh, the four and a half. We have a four and a half and a six inch barrel replacement barrel for them in multiple colors: matte black, matte green, um, and then gunmetal gray. This is the gunmetal gray version. Lots of accessories for it too. Um, we have a compensator, fiber optic upgrade, scope base, all compatible with the factory barrel, and then of course the, the replacement Mark IV barrel as well. Okay, and it's lightweight, did I tell you that? And accurate. Yeah. <laughs> What's your website, Amy? Uh, Tacticalsoul.com. Right. Thanks, Amy. Thank you. Double tap ammunition. You know, we use a lot of double tap ammo in the testing gun thing because high performance is good stuff. You know, people buy it, they're going to get the same results I got. Uh, so, anyway, tell us what you got going on. Well, this year is pretty exciting. So, we have 80, we had 82 calibers last year, now we got 83 calibers. Uh, the, the, the addition is 224 Valkyrie. Uh, we just added on, we added on a 90 grain match king load, uh, which is the uh, flattest shooting round to a thousand yards in 224 Valkyrie on the planet. Uh, we had a we had a 95 grain match king load, uh, which is uh, a heavyweight. Uh, it holds its energy quite long, quite a bit longer uh, distance. And we added a 70 uh, grain uh, solid copper barns uh, uh, loading to our lineup for hunting. So we have both. You know, it, it, is, it is a great bullet and it stabilizes really well in that in that 224 load. Um, and uh, we have been able to get uh, really great terminal uh, ballistics uh, out to 400 yards with that load. So that really takes your AR and stretches it in its ability to go after hogs and deer. Well, good. And what's your website, Mike? It's doubletapammo.com and uh, you can go there anytime. Sure. All right. Thanks a lot. Stacy, you got some interesting stuff here. Stacy, tell us what you got. Absolutely. Thanks for coming by again. Real good to see you guys. 
and I just want to kind of go through our uh, our cutaway that we have here of the uh, Mark 107 Diablo. So, thing about uh, most uh, uh, just gun gun makers in general, AR makers in general, is the PDW is kind of their afterthought. It's the last gun they mm -hmm. make. With the PDBS product line, we actually started with a seven inch upper called the Diablo back mm -hmm. in 2009. And that's what this cutaway is of, is the current Mark 107 Diablo uh, uh, pistol in, in a cutaway version. So if you zoom in here, this is where all the magic happens. So most piston guns are operated by a piston and a tappet separate from the carrier. Right. Where what we've done differently is we actually stole from a good old Kalashnikov and we've got one moving assembly. The carrier, op rod, and piston are all connected, so there is no impact between moving parts. And that does have some unique benefits. Uh, first of all, centralization of mass. Uh, some, some piston guns that are the short stroke style, they've got to have a little bit more weight up here just for the gas block to encapsulate everything. What we're able to do is keep the mass more evenly distributed through the whole gun. So weight-wise, you know, that's one of the things you'll hear people talk about with piston guns. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, it's inaccurate. It's less accurate. That's not true with this platform in any way, shape, or form because with that one moving assembly, you don't have all these weird forces reverberating through the rest of the gun, which can change some of your other dynamics like your barrel harmonics. So that's kept to an absolute minimum. The recoil is a push, not a punch. So it's a very pleasant gun to shoot. And also, when you suppress it, you've got gas adjustment, which that lets us turn down the gas and limit the amount of gas on the piston. And that's gonna keep the uh, cyclic rate from increasing and changing your ejection pattern or whatnot, which can also, if it's too fast, it'll affect the function and reliability of the gun until you're able to counteract it some way. You know, whether it's a heavier buffer weight or, you know, in extreme cases, you might have to go to a barrel with a smaller gas port, you know, which at that point, you're making a gun dedicated for suppressed types. And that way, with this system, we don't have to do that. And it's just been a great system. We've added on the market as an upper and then firearms uh, in 2009, firearm production began in late 2010. Then we brought out the Mod 1 line in uh, 2013, which is this gun right here. And then it received an update to M-Lock Handguard for uh, 20, uh, 2017. And then the Mod 2 came out in 2016. So basically the Mod 2 is just what we covered in another video. It's lighter, it's narrower, it's more compact. Mm -hmm. And then the newest model that we've got is the Alpha. So the Alpha is an amalgamation of all the other guns here. It has an elongated trunnion. It's got steel to steel contact for the mounting of the handguard. So as the gun gets hot with hard use, you don't have to worry about any kind of thermal expansion causing mm -hmm. deflection of the handguard under heat. So your maul, your D-ball, you know, whatever laser module you've mm -hmm. got on the end of this, this handguard is not gonna lose its original point of zero based on how hot the rest of the gun got. So that's kind of an interesting feature. Heavy profile barrel, one to seven twist rate. You know, there are a lot of uh, solicitations that call out those features specifically mm -hmm. at the federal level. Uh, so that's what we kind of patterned this gun for was to, to fulfill uh, some common solicitations that we see for a certain firearm at, uh, at the federal level. Other than that, shares the same push rod long stroke system, mid length, 14 fives and 16s are mid length, and then the 11 is a carbine, and then our seven is a pistol length, of course. And that's uh, pretty much it. We also make a 308 line, and that, that's called the Mark II. The Mark II is also available as a 6.5 Creedmoor. So we do have a really great varied uh, product line. We also chamber stuff in 300 Blackout and uh, 762 by 39 as well. So What's your website? www.primaryweapons.com. All right, thanks a lot. Absolutely. Thanks, guys. something really interesting to me is this uh, pistols that are important now. Tell us about that. So we've been diversifying a little bit this last year and we started getting into the imports and trying to do very exclusive imports. 
Uh, for many years there's been no Talker F pistols available, so we managed to get one of the last batches of Talker F TT33Cs. They were Romanian Arsenal, unissued firearms, in excellent conditions, you can see it right here. This pistol um, is actually in caliber 7, um, 762 by 25, a very potent caliber. I'm trying to actually drop the safety, sorry. I know a lot of gun safety conscience people would be upset at me on this one. But it's a very smooth, nice shooting firearm with a high power caliber. Uh, the ammunition currently, we've uh, received a lot of information that the firearm is, um, ammunition is becoming plenty available. There's a couple importers that are bringing several million rounds of 762 by 25 ammunition. And you will be seeing it in the next couple months in the US market. Uh, the price point on retail of this firearm is going to be around the $250 uh, price and they're going to be coming with issued surplus mag uh, holsters and most of them will have an extra magazine included. These firearms are latest of the and the last of the cold era firearms that are importable into the United States and we managed to secure them under our company. Oh, I can be good, functional, reliable and they're made out of a product they call steel. It's not a you know, plastic frame and all that. It's no problem. It's a good, reliable pistol. That's a good, good way to go at a heck of a cheap price. Yeah, it's a good product and reliable. That's what we care for and bringing class exclusive products that nobody else has currently okay. in the market. Well, what's your website, Mike? It's mm-industries.com. So mm-industries.com. We're right now, we just received those last week. So we have not, we don't have them yet on our website yet, but we're going to be putting them and obviously through major distributors there will be available too. Okay, thanks Mike. Thank you, appreciate it. Am I supposed to just go? <laughs>